is going to be a fast unboxing for Blessed Monsters, the Owl Crate exclusive signed edition by Emily A. Duncan. Originally, I was going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the first two books in the series as well as this one, but uh, my entire house is packed up right now because I'm about to move halfway across the country, so I don't have access to the first two books at this time, so we're just going to take a look at the new book, and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show the other ones. Take a look. Right. We have, oh wow, this is the pin. That is really, really neat. Very spooky. And it says, of course, Blessed Monsters. And, oh, the Pickety Witch, it looks like. That's who made that. And I think we have the book as well. Let's see. All right. This is the book. Let's take this and lift it up for you. So, oops, that did not work out well. Did it? There we go. Now you can actually see it. I have to set this up a little higher. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so this is the Owl Crate edition. Got the spine. It almost looks like the cover's misaligned. Like, here's the back, and then there's the spine. And it almost looks like the part that's supposed to be on the spine is going over onto the front cover. That is a little odd. Alright, let's see what this is supposed to have. It's supposed to have... Let's see. A reversible dust jacket, exclusive artwork, foil design on the hardcover, and exclusive end pages and signed. So we'll take a look and see the inside here. All right. So, okay, so that looks like that's the inside pages. And then we have, of course, the signature page. Back cover, exactly the same as the front. Here is the inside of the book. It's like mine got a little dirty up in this area. You can't really see that very well. See, it's kind of got like ink staining or something on it. But there's that part. No sprayed edges. They are, um, I believe they call this deckled edges. I think that's what it's called. And here is the inside of the dust jacket. Not sure how well you can see that. Actually, I'm gonna just lift the camera to show this to you. It might be easier. And then, well, that does not look like a fun day that person's having. That's the artwork on the inside. I think. That's everything it was supposed to have. All right. Yeah, I still think that's really strange that the dust jacket almost doesn't seem to fit it right. It's very odd how that's misaligned. Like, you can tell that's not supposed to be showing on the front cover. Like, that's where it was supposed to cut off on the edge, but it definitely does not fit the book properly. But I mean, for my part, it's in it's in great shape. The dust jacket and the book itself, it's in excellent condition. There's literally no dings or bends or scratches. So if it's misaligned a little bit, well, I'll definitely live with it because it's a beautiful copy of the book. I don't know if I showed the back properly, but that's the back part. So that's everything that was in the box.
Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.